What's up, people? Welcome back to another explanation video. This time, I'm gonna go over the most useful daggers in AL. So yeah, with that being said, let's continue on with this series. And um, this time, I will be talking about daggers. So yeah, let's do this. Starting off, I got the Vein Shredder. The Vein Shredder is a very, very good dagger you can pick up early on in the game from the West Ray boss chest. And this dagger, whether if you want to use it for the Tiger Resolve for the buff, or whether you want to use it for the damage, either one works really well, or both together if you really want to. As soon as you get the West Domo Ray unlock, you can pick that up. I don't remember what chapter unlocked the West Ray chapter, mm, chapter maybe three or four, somewhere there. But other than that, once you get that uh, that dagger, you'll be good to go. Honestly, you can take on Extreme Ray with that as well. And I'll be moving on to the next one. Next, I got the Y Spark dagger. Now, the Y Spark is from any extreme raids, um, doesn't matter which one. Um, you can get that if uh, from the boss chest, and you have to be just have to be uh, lucky, I guess. Um, there are also four different stats as well. And the, ba the, 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 the bad thing about it is that. When you have like that many variation and you, when you have that many different weapons in the chest, it's hard to get. But besides that, it is a very good dagger with good accuracies and you know stats and etc. It will take you pretty far into the game. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. Moving on, I got the XT Thousand Full Knife. Um, the XT Thousand Full Knife, you can get that from level 200 like above I think um, ancient apostles and they do drop two different variations one without like I think either the passive or the combat um other than that you can out that you can also get another one from the East Supreme Ray because um that one it's not a fixed that one you have to get the random you can get the random stats on it it's also not a bad farm it's a uh, um it's actually upstairs where you have to go to fight those little in those, those insects and i have a guy video for it already if you want to check that out and the location so other than that the thousand fold knife it is a very powerful knife you can get in the game like especially for the mid game and then moving towards the end game moving on i got the xt screaming crystal and the SP version. Since I mentioned the XT, I might as well get the SP as usual. Um, the XT Supreme Crystal is dropped from the East Supreme Ray boss chest, and then the SP version is dropped from level 800 above. Um, so, I mean, not super, <laughs> uh, Ancient Apostle, any Ancient Apostle, because I got that dagger from pretty much everywhere. So, it is not a, uh, it is not a bad dagger. However, the that's it's really really hard to get so i normally don't recommend people to farm the xt screaming crystal but if you want to farm it sure but honestly like the xt thousand full knife especially the supreme one it can take you pretty far into the game so you don't even need to worry about the xt screaming crystal you can just skip that if you really want to if you have a really really good um spring version of the uh, xt thousand full knife moving on I got the XT Phantasma Gloria. Now this weapon is actually really good if you want to use for a debuffer. I'm not talking about just mainly for DPS. Uh, this dagger is actually very very good for debuffer. Um, you can pick it up from the desert. It's in the uh, it's in the uh, uh, you know the DLC one desert um, where one of the relic beasts actually drop it. I also got another guy video for it. Feel free to check that out. And the next one is the SP Phantasma Gore. This is pretty much DPS, but you can also use for debuffer as well. I use it pretty much for all my dagger debuffer if you can pick up a version. Um, so this dagger is good for both ways. Um, it is the best dagger you can get for your user in this game. And the other problem is, like I said, as usual, it is very hard to get these SP weapons and they do drop much, much lower chance. And especially the stats, it's what really, really, you know, separates. 
Um, to really make this dagger powerful, you definitely want to get the uh, Sky Dancer built in on it, the passive. If you don't have it, nah, it's not as good as with the Sky Dancer on it because you get 200% more damage. So that's free damage. So you gotta get the passive on it no matter what um, in order to see that you know dagger to truly shine. And other than that, yeah, the uh, SP version drops from 800 to level 999. But I was like, I forgot to mention that in the sword video, you can uh, get these weapons from level 900 Garu dot as well. Um, if you can find the Ancient Apostle and it does take a long time to get there, they can drop from Garuda. However, it is much, much lower chance to farm Garuda. And uh, that guy is tough, so just be prepared. But it is also a good way to get your stuff set up to take on Ancient Apostle or DLC 2 Supreme. So other than that, yeah, it is a little bit slower because you only get one drop compared to the chests in the uh, so in Ancient Apostle, you get three of them. Especially when you max out 999, you can get uh, three random chances. So it's much higher. That's why I always uh, recommend people to farm one Ancient Apostle to max out 999, then farm for these weapons. Just pick the easiest one that you can do. Should be okay. Last but not least, I got the Silica Stacker um, from the level 999 Gleamai. She has the best dagger in the entire game. There's no question about it. Um, like I said, I will include the SP weapons from the da uh, from the uh, AIs. Now this dagger is it's too powerful. There's not not much to talk about. If you can get your um, Gleamai level up. If you want to use your silica as a main DPS and or debuffer, doesn't matter which one, um, she's gonna be very, very powerful. I hope we get that kind of dagger. I was hoping that we get it, you know, by the end of this game. Like, you know, sometimes we just don't get what we wanted. Um, hopefully the next game we'll have the complete set for five star weapons that, you know, distribute to our main character as well as AIs because in this game, you kind of have to play AIs to get to really use that weapon. So, with that being said, you know, Silica has the best dagger in this game. Alright, people, that should do it for the dagger video. And yeah, it's much shorter than the sword because like I said, some weapons are much more less compared to the sword. You know, every, now every weapons in this game is going to, uh, or every type of weapons in this game is going to be a hell lot of variation from the sword so yeah some of these are just the xt and sp for the variations and stuff but overall is dagger is very powerful in the game you know definitely recommend people to use it and um it works for everything and uh yeah um that's pretty much it for this uh, video i hope you guys enjoy it until next time